killer. I want to go ahead and say uh, if you hear any fucking noises, most likely thunder. Uh, uh, if you hear that any single point in the video or whatever, that's because, well, it looks like it's about the rain, which is kind of ironic because only a couple weeks ago we had a goddamn hurricane hit. But, you know, it's not like that matters anymore, I guess. So, anyways, Forward to Episode 25 came out yesterday. Uh, eh? Episode was okay. It wasn't, you know absolutely fantastic it was just a, a setup ep episode for you know this little mini filler arc so it's kind of like whatever the episode starts off uh with naruto you know kind of setting up this the whole plot and what the episode this next few episodes are going to consist in the next coming weeks are basically consist of it's basically boruto and his class are going to go to the hidden mist village for a, uh, a field trip which in the setting that Naruto, uh, or, or that Naruto, like, as a world in an anime, it seems kind of odd, because it seems like they're just trying to modernize, be, be kid-friendly somehow, and then also kind of, you know, connect with the real world, which is odd. I don't hate it, but it's odd, you know? But whatever. Uh, one thing that I want to say about... Boruto hating Naruto for whatever reason, for whatever reasons he has, just, uh, I mean, I know why he hates, he hates Naruto for, he hates him for stupid reasons, but anyways, I'm just gonna continue on. I like it when Naruto, when he notices Boruto doing some stupid shit, he, like, talks back to him and is, like, kind of, like, whatever, like, fuck you, too, and you don't have to fucking hate me, but whatever, I'll hate you too if you really hate me that much. I like it when Bor not Boruto, Naruto talks back to Boruto. It's interesting. So, the rest of the early beginning of the episode after the intro is basically, uh, Shino is, you know, trying to pick out a representative to, you know, kind of re represent the class for the Hidden Leaf Village when they go out to um, the Hidden Mist Village and ultimately no one wanted to fucking do it so Sarada is like yeah I'm a I'm, I'm a nominate Boruto just because I think he can do it everyone agreed Boruto was really pissed off about it he didn't really want to do it of course but w whatever right so you know he kind of just they kind of just you know get set up they they leave the village and they go out into the hidden mist village uh, they get there and the, the comparison between the the old Hidden Mist Village between uh, the, the new modern one is substantial because the Hidden Mist Village is significantly modernized, even literally only a little bit more modernized than the Hidden Leaf. And even characters from the episode uh, point this out. They they say that the Hidden Mist is definitely a lot more modernized than the Hidden Leaf, which is interesting. There were also other other couple characters that you do see in the episode. Uh, I thought they looked interesting. I thought they were kind of cool. And the reason why I bring that up is because uh, one of the first new characters that we see from the Hidden Mist Village, uh, he, uh, he kind of just shows up. I don't want to butcher his name, at least for the, the, uh, the first episode of this mini-arc, at least. But uh, he is known as... Uh, he's supposed to be kind of like a, a higher-up type of person. Uh, close to the Kage, the, the Mizu Kage of the village, which is interesting. And, you know, he's no older than any of the kids that are in Boruto's class. And it's interesting because, well, I, although I, I do think he is a cool looking character and it kind of looks like Suigetsu, uh, I ended up almost hating him in the episode because apparently all the fucking girls in Boruto's class think he's fucking hot for whatever reason, so that really pissed me off because that happened way too much with Sasuke and I don't want to fucking go through this all again so he starts talking to Boruto uh, kind of notes the fact that Boruto is yes the son of the Hokage um, the, you know the legendary Naruto Uzumaki but whatever and Boruto's just like doesn't matter about my dad whatever right so Yuwabe kind of goes off by his own somewhere else uh, earlier in the episode he actually notes that the village uh, the Hidden Mist Village used to be called the Blood Mist Village. 
uh, which we, we of course haven't heard since part one, early, super early part one, uh, during the whole Zabuza arc. <clears throat> and, and ultimately, that's why I was like really surprised about how modern the Mist Village was, was because Zabuza came here and, you know, he was kind of like a rogue ninja from the Mist Village. And, you know, Zabuza called it the Blood Mist Village because of how you're basically allowed to become a shinobi. And e even Kisame was like really, you know, indifferent about leaving, uh, leaving the village in order to join the Akatsuki because of how brutal and how, you know, I guess bloody and just ruthless the Mist Village used to be back in the day. But they keep on noting that, you know, that's all in the past. And that really shouldn't matter anymore. But of course, Iwabe is kind of like, oh, whatever, just the terrible, do, 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 whatever. He's saying all this stupid shit. And then we get the two other characters that we do see. One of them will probably be used in the thumbnail. Uh, don't I don't want to butcher these these guys' names at least for the first episode of the mini arc, like I said. Uh, and they kind of talk, uh, one of them talks to Boruto, it's kind of like, yeah, you got guts standing up to my friend, and I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. He, uh, kind of compliments his eyes, Boruto's eyes, I guess, which, I guess is interesting. And then the big part that I was surprised about was, even he called his village, um, the, the Blood Mist Village. So, yeah... He kind of reminds me of Kisame because of his fucking teeth, I guess. Wh whatever, like, like that, that's kind of like the big part of the episode that really only interests me. But it's whatever, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. But, you know, the episode was okay. It was eh. It didn't, you know, piss me off with like most stuff that would happened in a couple other episodes. This is very Slice of Life-esque, but it was also like a set-up plot episode for this whole new mini-arc. So, the episode was eh, it was okay. If I had to rate it from 1 to 5, it's like a 3-ish, maybe a 2, maybe uh, a high 2.5 if I really have to be generous with it. But, you know, it, it was okay. It wasn't super stellar, and the animation was passable it wasn't like stellar or super amazing but you know it was it was pass <clears throat> it was passable um also there were a lot of still image shots maybe a little bit too much than what there needed to be but you know, they were they were there and yeah <laughs> so that's the episode it was okay um you know of course the setup episode and also kind of fly slice of life esque um, I hear May, the um, the old Mizukage of the Hidden Mist Village, is supposed to be in the next episode, which should be interesting. I don't know what else is going to happen in the next episode, but hopefully it's interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for more content. That's utter trash, but anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.